What is up, everybody? Civ Gaming here. I'm bringing you a video on some Legion information. Some of it's already known. Some of it's recently just came out. But it's going to be good old time. Let's get into it. Starting off, there was at the end of the Archimon fight. There's a cinematic where Gul'dan is pushed through the portal by Archimon, and let's take a look at that now. Alright, so, that is the ending cinematic for the very last fight of Warlords of Draenor Archimonde. Now, the Legion starting out, the, Le the Legion announcement video was Archimonde, or pff, Gul'dan, sorry about that, I don't know why I said Archimonde. Gul'dan was resurrecting Illidan. Now, let's take a look at that real quick. So, he has been sent to our timeline, and he has resurrected Illidan. It's pretty awesome. What he's also done is he has risen the uh, Tomb of Sargeras, and he's now opened up a giant, powerful portal, powerful, powerful portal, letting in hordes of demons that we now get to stop. Uh... Gul'dan has now brought Illidan back to life. And I have some questions about that. Because is Illidan going to know who brought him back? Is Illidan going to have any questions? Like, how are you in alive here right now? Because I've, I've held your skull in my hand. And I've communicated with it. I've drank from your skull. Yes. The power should be mine. <laughs> Which is pretty cool. They're bringing the Lipton back. I'm excited about that. Uh, I, I do also wonder if Gul'dan is going to see the messages sprawled out by our Gul'dan before he died in the uh, Tomb of Sargeras. So, that's going to be kind of cool to see. I hope, like, I hope at BlizzCon they talk about that, like, if he's going to see the notes or read them, or what's going to happen with that, and what's the conversation between him and Illidan going to be like. Who knows? I'm excited to see it. I hope they do something cool with it. They're also bringing in the Broken Isles, which I'm I'm really happy about, because I'm... It's a lot of where, uh... Ah... Uh, trying to remember the book's name. War of the Ancients happened, where and where the Night Elf Society was. 
Queen, Queen Azara trying to summon Sar Sargeras onto Azeroth. So it's going to be awesome to go in there, see all that stuff. They're also bringing us artifact weapons. I see a lot of people having problems with the fact that we are getting artifact weapons, such as uh, Ashbringer and Doomhammer, the main two that everyone's really focusing on. Uh, I'm fine with it because they're not legendary weapons, they're artifact weapons. And I, I'm really wondering the storyline on how we're going to get them. Like, is it Thrall who's going to die? Is it uh, Tyrion who's going to die? Which one's going to give up hope? Which, you know, who knows? I'm, I'm hoping they tell us a little bit more at BlizzCon. Like, not to not give us spoilers. Just wait for the beta for that. But who's going to do what? They are also bringing us class halls, which a lot of people are like, oh, I wonder if they're going to be Garrison 2.0, so on, so on. No. The devs have stated that they're going to be more of a secret club for the class only that can get into it, and it's going to be more about our followers scouting out, and then us going and doing the missions, instead of just our followers doing the missions for us. They, they've came out and I don't remember where they said the Paladin class hall should be, which, if it's anywhere other than Light's Hope Chapel, I'm going to be a little agitated. Death Knights, it's going to be obvious. It's either going to be Ebonhold and Ice Crown, or Acherus floating there in Eastern Plaguelands. My problem mainly is Rogues is going to be in the sewers of Dalaran. What? I'm sorry. There's nothing about the anything in Dalaran that shouts rogue. You know what screams rogue? Ravenholt Manor. That screams rogue to me, and that's where the rogue class hall should be. No questions asked. Nowhere else Ravenholt should be the rogue class hall. Period. End of story. Not going to get into it farther. Even though I want to. I don't have enough information about it. Of course, the game's not out yet. It's not even in beta, so... <sighs> Who knows? That could change in time. Alright. Now, they're also giving us a character boost. A level 100 character boost. I'm happy about that, but at the same time, I'm really hoping that it doesn't become a... thing with every expansion. Like the expansion after Legion, like, oh, you get a free 110 character boost, and so on and so on. I, I, I really hope they don't do that. Especially, I really hope they also don't charge us more for this expansion than they have, like, with Warlords of Drain, or where they charge us more for less contact, content, and they gave us a character boost. Like, the character boost is okay, but I don't want to pay more money for less content. That's my big thing right now. Um, we are getting pre-expansion events such as Wrath of the Lich King's uh, Scourge Invasion. Now, being able to spread that Scourge all throughout Shattrath was awesome. <laughs> it was so fun to do that. Uh, Cataclysm, the whole cinematic, everything breaking apart. I hate... I love and hate the Barons because... I hate how it looks now, but also like it because it's updated. But I really love how it used to look like and how you didn't have to go around the whole thing just to go into the Southern Barrens. I like just being able to run straight. Um, they're also going to be removing multi strike. I, I I'm I'm not sh I'm on the fence about the multi strike being removed because. Yeah, you know, it, it's a stat I really never paid attention to. And also other secondary stats are being changed. Um, there are Doom Profession updates, which... There's a little bit of information on the Profession updates. Um, very little to no cool... Very little or no cooldown gated Profession materials for crafting. I like that. I just... I hated how they did it with Garrisons. I absolutely hated it. Um, 
Now, the stage upgrades are going to work differently from how they did in Warlords. You're not going to get an item. You can combine that with the weapon. It's going to upgrade. What's going to happen is you destroy the old item, get the material to create the better item for it. It's it's a little weird. Like That's more, to me, like the Burning Crusade style of crafting, like with the... Champion, the two-handed champion sword, the thunder mace. I, I'm sorry, I can't remember the names right now. It seems to me more like that of what's going to happen with them, but we didn't destroy the mazes. We just ha gathered the material and combined them. So, who knows how that's going to work out. Um, now, they have stated the transmog system in Legion is going to be similar to Diablo and possibly count wide. I am so excited for this because <laughs> that's going to clear up so much bank space for my war. I literally have every piece of gear I've gotten from vanilla until now in my bank or my void storage. So now we're going to be able to clear that out. It's going to be so damn helpful. I can't wait. Um, and with that, they're also not doing extra void storage. Sweet. Here's something that's kind of bothering me. Actually, I'm going to wait. I want to... They're also going to be doing an adventure mode. Might be coming to Legion. Um, it's something that the, it may be discussed at BlizzCon, but we might get a Diablo-esque adventure mode. So that's pretty cool. Now, on to what I was wanting to talk about. Survival Hunters. Survival Hunters, which is going to be the Survival Hunters who are melee legion, get a harpoon ability to draw mobs toward them. Yay! Another death grip! Yay! But, I also see the raid possibilities with that move, but at the same time, I see the extremely huge amount of trolling that's going to be coming with that. It's an awesome idea. Do I think hunters should be melee? No. God, no. But it's pretty cool that survival has always been the melee spec. I say that again with parentheses. Melee spec for hunters. So it's going to be... I'm, I'm just going to have to see how it goes and how it turns out. <sighs> right now it's kind of... I'm iffy about it. I'm also excited to see it. And now, the huge thing that everyone has been waiting about. I know I've been bitching about it for years. Looking at that vanilla case. Seeing it on, on the inside cover. Demon Hunters! Yes! <laughs> Demon Hunters, finally! We're finally getting uh, Illidari Demon Hunters. Um... Demon Hunters, some new information today. Currently planned to start at level 98, which is pretty awesome, because that'll give you levels inside the starting zone, because their starting zone is the planet Sargeras, Sargeras destroyed to start the Burning Legion. That's where it's going to start. And then it goes into being capped, uh, it's going to be going into being caught, and then being released from the Wardens. I, I forget the Wardens thing. I forget its name. I'm sorry. But here's something that bugs me with Demon Hunters. They can use one-handed swords in addition to glaives. No! No, 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 no. Glaives only. No, de Demon Hunters should only be allowed to use glaives and glaives alone. Nothing else. No swords, no daggers, axes, fiddle foddles. Only glaives. That's my only problem so far, <laughs> is that they can use something other than glaives. But, I guess we're just going to have to wait and see what they discuss at BlizzCon, and when the beta is finally released. Hopefully I can get in and get in there and see what it's all about and make videos. So, that is really all the information so far. I I'm I rifled through this information rather quickly just to, so I won't be sitting here with like a 45 to an hour video, trying to keep it somewhat shortish. 
So I hope you guys enjoy it, and I will see you all in the next one. See ya!